Hello and welcome. This is the tutorial for the Red Dragon M811 Aatrox. It is a wireless 26,000 DPI MMO gaming mouse. It has 15 programmable buttons, five programmable DPI settings, adjustable mouse sensitivity, scroll speed, and double click speed. It has macro settings, as well, backlight settings. In this tutorial, I'll be going through the backlight and the macro settings. With that said, let's jump into this. As we look at the lighting section, we have three LED effects, colorful streaming, steady, and breathing. Colorful streaming will go through seven different colors, and it has two settings to adjust, LED brightness, and the speed at which the lights will change color. Moving on to steady. The lighting effect will keep one color on steadily. Steady has two settings to adjust. Color choice with seven preset colors to choose from. As well, on the right, the option to choose a custom color. And the brightness of the LED light. For the final effect, we have breathing, which will change color with each breath. There are three settings to adjust, color choice, LED brightness, and speed, how fast each color will change with each breath. As we move on to the macro, we have a macro list, which our created macro will be stored in, key list for recorded keys we have in our macro. Then we have start recording, automatic record time delay, Cycle until the key is released, cycle until any key pressed, cycle time, and insert event to manually insert keys to the macro list without pressing record. The macro we're going to create now is going to be for Hogwarts Legacy. To jump on our broom, we need to hold tab, then press 3. So the macro we want to create will hold tab, press 3, and then release 3, and then we'll jump on our broom. To create a new macro, click New Macro, enter a name, click OK. Once the macro is in your macro list, click it to highlight it, then click Record. Press the keys you want in your macro, click Stop Record, and then click Save. Now that the macro is set up and saved, let's move over to the main section and put that macro on the one key on the side of the mouse. The main tab is where we program the buttons on the mouse. Again, there are 15 buttons to adjust. 9 to 15 we will leave as they are because those are the standard mouse buttons. 1 to 8 will be the ones we change to our liking. However, you can adjust the buttons to whatever way you would like. From left, right, middle button, forward back, 3 click, RGB on off, fire key, key combination, similar to macro, disable, macro, DPI plus minus, DPI loop, and multimedia for media controls and internet browser controls. To set the macro to the one key on the mouse, we're going to click one in the key setting, click the drop down box, and then click macro. A new window will pop up called macro list. We're going to click and highlight broom the macro we created on macro page. Then click OK. Click Apply. Now we have the macro broom set to the one key on the side of the mouse. Now that the macro is set up to the one key, when I enter the game and want to jump on my broom, I'll just hit one, and then it will hit the two keys, and I'll jump on my broom. With that said and done, I hope this video was informative. Everybody have a great morning, afternoon, and evening. Take care, everybody.